Greetings Interweb and welcome back my fellow guardians. Today we are taking a look at Destiny's ranking up system. To be more precise, how to do it fast. I'm sure there are many different guides out there on how to do this, but I'm bringing in my personal take on how I managed to get my hunter from a level 1 to 25 in just 7 hours, taking into consideration traveling and messing about in the tower. As you can see on screen here, I have a level 30 warlock and a level 11 titan. For the purpose of this video, I'm going to be using the titan. So let's begin. Level up is a grind, as we will all agree, but once you get to the higher levels, there are better weapons and gear at your disposal. So from level 2 onwards, you're going to do exactly what you see me doing here, which is changing the level difficulty of every story mission. Doing this grants you additional XP and better rewards at the end of every mission, and better gear and weapons equals more dead alien sons of bitches. In this particular video, I'm using the husk of the pit, and there's a reason for that. However, you can only wield this weapon when you hit level 10. But there's also a small drawback to that. This weapon can only be obtained after killing a blade of Crota. And I'm sure you must be thinking to yourself, I'm on low level, I can't possibly take on a blade of Crota on my own. Well, this is where your friends come in. If you don't have any, get some, you antisocial bastard. And second of all, you can use your high level characters to kill the blade of Crota and acquire this weapon for you, then store it in your vault until the lower level characters reach level 10 so you can use it. If you'd like to know how to get the husk of the pit, you can follow the link in the description which will take you to a breakdown video as to how to get and rank up this weapon. So let's move on to why this particular weapon is formidable to all others at low levels. It's fully auto with a large clip size and does 138 damage. I've yet to come across a weapon that does this much damage at low levels, which in my books makes this weapon an absolute alien killer for low level guardians. The husk of the pit doesn't give two shits whether you're a hive or fallen, it just fucks shit up, as demonstrated in the background of this video. And while we're on the topic of weapons, I personally like to roll with a sniper rifle secondary, as I'm doing the missions and hard, I'm mostly going to be engaging in long range gunfights. Especially when going up against those annoying little wankers like knights, wizards and of course the bosses. Your heavy weapon of choice is purely down to personal preference, but I'll pick a rocket launcher over any heavy machine gun any day, as you stand a better chance of dealing more damage and obliterating multiple foes at once. Now on to our next and final tip, bounties. Once you hit level 4, you'll be able to collect vanguard bounties from the bounty chucker. Successfully completing and handing in that bounty earns you a certain amount of experience points based on the difficulty of that particular bounty. So once you've finished any particular mission, always go back to the tower, as doing so will ensure you collect all your rewards and make sure to always check the postmaster for bounty leads and be sure to check in with the bounty tracker prior to any missions, as the more bounty you collect and hand in equals more experience points and every XP go a long way towards ranking up. And while you're in that vicinity, if you've purchased the Dark Below DLC, stop by and say hello to Eris Morn, she will also have bounties for you to collect. And there you have it my friends, as I said at the start of this video, this is my personal way to rank up, so try it if you like, see what you think of it, if it works for you then thumbs up. Speaking of thumbs up, don't forget to drop one in this video. As always, thank you very much for watching, please subscribe if you haven't, and I'll see you guys in the next one.